Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful Saturday here in Switzerland. Uh, we got some clouds over the Jura, but man, it's beautiful. We had a lot of rain last night, a big storm. My truck had about this much water in the back of it. Even though Ford tells me, hey, uh, there's a vent system in there to let the water out. I do not find a vent system. And I need a titanium freaking uh, a drill bit just to pe uh, pierce through that steel. Man, that stuff is tough. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna talk about this, okay? What's inside of this? And have a little comparison also. So be right back with you and I'll talk to you in a minute. Welcome back again and continue on with the video. I've got a, something in here. Now, I've been using the ECWC sleeping bag system since, oh man, near 20 years, I would say. Um, I got a brand new one back in the day when they were super expensive, about 850 bucks uh, to get them. Now you can get them for under 200. And I've actually gotten them, got one for a friend of mine for 150 bucks plus shipping uh, uh, from the States. Uh, brand new in the plastic and they and they come with a Gore-Tex cover uh, stuff bag the intermediate black sleeping bag and the uh, Summertime green bag actually or more the hot weather tempered bag. Well Guess what the Marines didn't didn't like that system apparently so they came up with their own and um, I've heard about it and I've been wanting to try it out and and so what I did is I found an intermediate bag a used one, but you know what? Dude smells good. It's been clean and everything, and it's in really prime condition. Okay, it's like brand new. The condition of it is, but I think it's probably some uh, Pogue Marine used it. You know, uh, you know, and you can see it's in Coyote also. Really, I'm mean, really nice. I mean, it's it's really nice and it's very lightweight. I mean, this thing is super light. Now it's a poly mead type, poly uh, poly uh, urethane type material inside of it the down uh, not a down but the insulation inside of it and this one i hear is the one made for five foot eleven and under now they have two models two lengths uh, the army has a two meter one which fits everybody and it's not here it's for shorter i guess a lot there's a lot more shorter marines i guess than there are army um another car coming by but this one out here actually is not bad actually i do fit in it i'm six foot so i do fit in it. it's a little bit snug but it's not bad and if i sleep with my head on the outside of it It'll work fine. It'll work perfectly. Yep. More people passing by. Anyway, um, I do like about it. It has some it has some strange elastic things. So I guess it's, it's for the system it's built in. This is the intermediate sack. I guess there's a summer bag, and of course, I guess there's. I don't know if there's. I guess there might be a Gore-Tex bag. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it as much. But this one here is rated at 10 degrees. Um, just with, when you're when you're dressed. 20 degrees undressed, I guess with less clothes, but 10 degrees when you're dressed. Now, we're gonna do some comparison between this right here and the EC, ECWC intermediate bag, which is really a, a cold weather bag. This right here is not a cold weather bag. This is limited to uh, just above freezing and, um, oh, well, 10 degrees, actually, no, that's under, that's under freezing. So that's right, because freezing is at 30, was it 30 degrees? Yeah. So it's, un, it's rated to under, under 30 degrees. So yeah, that should, uh, it should be fine in cold weather. I'm going to try it out this winter when it comes up. I'm going to bring it out with me and test it out and see how it works. Uh, yeah, There's a really good information thing here on the bottom, foot of it. And like I said, I've gotten into it and it's a bit snug. I do like the zipper system on it. And I do like the hoodie, the hood system in it. And like I said, it's really well made, well put together. I'm sure it follows the, it's made in the United States, I'm sure, because that's what it has to be now with the law. Okay. But let's do some, let's talk about some comparisons here. Okay. The, um, this bag right here, um, I weighed it out and it is two kilos. No, no, this right here weighs one kilo. Okay. One kilo to 200 grams. So 1.2 kilos. Okay. That's, that's pretty decent, but it'd be better if it was much warmer bag, actually. Um, it's rated at 10 degrees Fahrenheit, but you have to wear um, long johns and this kind of stuff under it, maybe even a hoodie, this kind of stuff like that. And it's, that's with your garments, you know. And um, it comes in coyote brown, which is a really nice. I like the color. I don't like all these. I, don't, I like stuff that blends in with nature a lot better. 
But let's compare it, compare it to the ECWC, which I have, I have with me. Volume-wise, this thing right here compacts to even less than half. I mean, it compacts very compact in my waterproof bag. And the um, ECWC fills up the entire 30-liter uh, backpack I have it in. Um, and the ECWC, of course, is black, which I could do it out, but uh, it's minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And I have used it here, and it does. It's very comfortable. But it's twice the weight. That, that sucker is two kilos. So you do the math, it's a bit heavier. But uh, you know what? When I go out in the wintertime, that is fine for me. Now, if it's really, really cold here, it'll get down uh, minus, these are all Celsius uh, rankings, by the way, minus 10 degrees Celsius and 10 degrees Celsius. So there is a huge difference, 20 degrees between the both of them on the, on the, on the map, you know, uh, but, uh, that ECWC one, it really just, uh, it's really comfortable. It's quite voluminous. Also, it's not here also, but the ECWC is longer, so it's much more comfortable. I can move around inside of a little bit if I need to. And this one here is really much more snug. The problem is if you, I mean, it fits me well in the chest and, and, and everything, which is great because it has more volume. So you're not stretching the material. When you start stretching the material of a sling bag, same with a jacket or something like that or anything else, it's going to open up a little bit to the cold, okay? So that you don't want. You want something when you're tr when you're trying out a sling bag, something that's going to be voluminous around you and you have plenty of room, okay? And this does the trick. That's one thing I like about military bags is that they're actually made to be used with your gear on. So because of that, you can you have for civilian use, you have much more volume and it's a much better system. But anyway, that's the comparison of the two of them. I mean, I'm not. I'm not too happy with the, like I said, they call it the intermediate bag, and it's not intermediate whatsoever. Uh, not in comparison to the um, the intermediate bag of the ECWC, which probably should be just called a winter bag. And then so here would be more of an intermediate bag. I imagine when you use it with in conjunction with maybe a summer bag, which I don't know if it comes with or not. I think it maybe it does, and the Gore-Tex maybe. I'm probably, I'm sure that it's, it's still that lighter system. It's probably the whole system together still under, it's around, around two kilos, which is actually lighter or equal to just the intermediate bag from the u.s army so there you go anyway real quick video on uh this uh this comparison of the ecwc and the u.s marine corps uh cold weather intermediate bag and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you got something from it let me know down in the comments below what you think if you've used them um what you think that um how well they work if you're a marine you use one of these brand new how'd you like it in the marine corps it also says it has a water resistant membrane on top of it so I, don't, I haven't tested it yet you know but then again it feels softer than um than my um ecwc which it's a, it's a i think it's a, a much heavier duty material there you go let me know what you think down in the comments down below and um, give me a thumbs up i really appreciate it if you do and share with your friends and enemies and listen subscribe to the channel and get your friends to share to subscribe to my channel okay you know only a small percentage of your subscribe to how many people actually look at my videos so you'd be doing me a really good helping you'd be helping me a lot if you would also subscribe i'd appreciate it i'm over 507 uh videos uh subscribers now it's i need to double that uh so i can get on the good side of, of youtube uh youtube i guess at least on me that lets me know that people are enjoying my videos but uh, I really appreciate it. And I hope you all have a really good day and enjoy this weekend um, wherever you're at. And um, God bless you. And we'll talk to you very soon. And um, yeah, you know, I have some, a lot more new stuff coming in and some serious announcements by the end of the month coming in also. Uh, and um, you guys let me know what you think. I'll talk to you very soon. Take care of yourself and have a good weekend. Goodbye.